We're going to be talking about the Jaeger build today. Just when you thought you would never see it again, you're seeing it again. It's still here. Like I said in the first video, it's supposed to go back to Jaeger. Jaegermeister wants to keep it in their, in their headquarters in New York and stuff, so it'll eventually get there. But I'm not done with this build just yet. I actually have some seriously cool plans for it in store. I'm actually not going to be doing any or like making any of those plans happen today. This is more of like a planning and strategizing video where I can really just let you guys know what I'm up to with this build, what's happening next with it, and really to get your feedback as well, because what I have planned for this thing is something that I've really never done before. First of all, let's let's get this guy out of here because he looks depressing. He looks really depressing right here. He's got a, a box, a box of parts on him. That's no way to treat the old Jaeger build. Jaeger. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. One-handed. Hiring a cameraman tomorrow. Okay. So, Jaeger. Can we name him? Can we name him Ye Yag? Yag. Jag. We'll call him Jag. All right, Jag. Let's get Jag out of here. Let's get him back into the uh, the main studio, and then uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do with him. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by cdkeyoffers.com, a one-stop shop for reliable game and software keys. Right now they're offering 20% off Windows 10 Pro OEM keys when you enter promo code BW20 at checkout. Getting your key is easy. Once you've added it to your cart, enter promo code BW20, fill out your payment info, and complete the purchase before heading to your purchased orders page to view and copy your new key. Simply paste it into the Windows activation page and voila, your operating system is fully authenticated. To grab your discounted Windows 10 Pro key now, click on the link in the description below. All right, we got Jag fired up, and as you can see, I brought along a few friendos as well, which are all part of my big plan that I have for this lovely PC. So, I don't know if this, this wasn't featured in the first video. This is basically an ice cold Jägermeister chilling machine. It's supposed to serve up ice cold shots of Jägermeister. You basically put a couple bottles right here at the top, face down, bloop, goes into the machine, chills it, and then shot glass, boom. Pretty straightforward. But my plan is to not use it for that purpose. It's actually to use it in order to cool the PC. Yes, that's my plan. To integrate the chilling machine into the custom water cooling loop and see what kind of temps we get. See if it explodes. I don't know. That's part of the fun. And actually, I was supposed to do this in the first video, but I ran out of time. There were deadlines and stuff. Anyway, the way I'm going to do that is by, by taking two of these bottles, putting them in the machine, and then taking a drill bit that can cut glass. Once those holes are in there, I'll be able to like hook up tubing into them. And also, I thought it was really surprising that no one commented on the first video. On the first video, no one commented on this QDC right here, this quick disconnect fitting that's coming right after the pump, which, uh, you know, I thought, you know, someone's gonna find suspicious because if you watch the video you would have seen that there's also a QDC um, right here at the drain port so why would you need two why would you need two drain ports Kyle it doesn't make any sense but no one commented on it this is exactly why though we're gonna have a tube coming from here and then probably use a splitter a two-way splitter so that it can go into each of the bottles the fluid will travel down into the chilling machine get chilled and then we'll have two more tubes coming out one of each spout we'll have to do another splitter and it goes back into the loop through here that is the grand master plan. Honestly, it sounds pretty straightforward, but that's exactly why I need your guys' feedback because if there's any kind of potential issues that you guys see with this going horribly wrong, uh, I would like to know about them beforehand before I actually start getting my hands dirty with this. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Oh, also I, I poured the shot of Jägermeister. That's, that's just for me. That has nothing to do with with what we're doing here. Now, when I was shooting the first video, I did play around with the chilling machine a bit to see if I could actually get it working in time for the first video, but I failed. Before I got the idea, actually someone from uh, one of the staff members at Jägermeister suggested drilling the holes in the, in the Jägermeister bottles and having the fluid come in that way. Before, I was just trying to pipe in a tube straight into the holes, and that wasn't working because there's actually another, a smaller hole that's down in there that's very, very small. It's very small, so the pressure of the pump was too great for this little hole to handle, and you know, it was just squirting out 
everywhere. Obviously I was testing it with like water and stuff first and it wasn't through the loop. It was just, you know, a standalone pump. I even tried like sealing it with like Bondo uh, and it didn't work. It uh, just wasn't happening. But I think the bottle idea has a much higher chance of success just because it basically serves as, you know, a sizable reservoir in order for the fluid to, to travel naturally into the hole. That being said, there are a couple concerns that I have. One, how do I actually get the tubing to be airtight with, with the bottle? How would I do that? Could I actually get some sort of fitting, some airtight seal, or is there a type of adhesive or material? I don't know. I'm also not sure how to make this seal airtight as well. If you guys have any sort of suggestions for material I can use to create a seal, please inform me at your earliest convenience. As far as the spout is concerned, this shouldn't be a problem. I actually experimented with this as well, and I, I took I took this main cover off, which reveals a, a smaller spout that actually fits a piece of like flexible tubing no problem. It is basically airtight. And I think that, that was with the uh, 13 millimeter, or it might've been 16 millimeter tubing. I can't remember. I think it's 13 actually. So I'm not too concerned with this. Obviously I would still like, you know, cinch it down with like a barb or something like that just to keep it on there. The other challenge or the other concern that I did have, however, is condensation. So whenever the fluid inside of your loop is cooler or at a lower temperature than ambient, there is a chance, a possibility of condensation occurring. And that's bad because if there's condensation there, there's fluid, there's actual like liquid forming on the outside that could potentially drop onto any of these components while they're while they're on while they're powered on and short something out and that would that would not be good like the testing is gonna have to be done very carefully when I do test it out for realsies I'm probably going to fire up the machine and test it gradually because it, it takes it takes a while it takes I think a couple hours for this thing to get as cold as it's supposed to I'll probably test it you know within the first 15 minutes in the first 30 minutes the first hour and just uh, carefully watch the PC to make sure no condensation is forming I think barring those few concerns though I I, I think everything should go smoothly. Again, if you guys can think of anything that, that might go south during this process, please let me know, because I don't want to find out when it's too late and risk damaging hardware or anything like that. In the meantime, there is one thing that I wanted to do with Jag today, and that is drain him, because there is still a bit of Jägermeister in this loop. What? So when I was recording the first video, uh, I did drain the majority of Jägermeister out and filled it up with the uh, the fake Jäger. And that's probably, I'd say 80 to 85% of what's in the loop right now. But the rest of it, is Jägermeister. The reason being is because I simply couldn't get every last drop out of the loop. No matter how I twisted and turned the rig, there was still just a, a bit of fluid that I couldn't get out. So today, even though we're not doing anything else regarding this project, I'm going to fully flush the system, which means just running a bunch of cycles, you know, emptying out as much as I can, filling it up with distilled water, flushing it out again, and then just repeating that cycle over and over until we get virtually all of the Jägermeister out. Because as I said in the first vid, alcohol should not be long in your loop for a prolonged period of time. Uh, it can, it can gunk up and also it's not good for acrylic. It can potentially crack it if it's in there long enough and if there's enough of it. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of Jägermeister in here, but it is 35%. So just to be more safe than sorry, we're gonna go ahead and flush the entire system right now because I don't wanna risk something horrible happening in the next coming weeks or months or whatever where the acrylic cracks and the fluid leaks and then it ruins the system and I'm left with a really expensive brick on my hands. So that's what we're doing now. How's that sound, Jag? Does that sound good to you? Ready to get flushed? I think you've been sipping on Jägermeister long enough, buddy. It's time to give someone else a chance like me. Okie dokie, Jag is completely drained. Well, I would say mostly drained. So there, there's a little bit of little bit of fluid in here that I still couldn't get out. Well, I could get it out, but uh, I'm gonna leave it in there. And when we're ready to actually refill them, then I'll just cycle more and more fake Jaeger fluid until we get most of the water out. But yeah, you can see I also removed all the tubes, of course. They're all over here laid out. And this is also necessary because, I, I didn't mention this until, until now, but I'm actually gonna be replacing these tubes, all of these runs, with 
satin tubing, which again is another thing that I wanted to do in part one in the first video. But the reason that didn't work out is because the size tubing I had was not fitting with the fittings I had on hand for the build. And I just didn't have time. Once again, time was a very scarce resource for, for the part one video. Didn't have time to order new fittings. So I ended up having to use this stuff, just the normal clear tubing, which still looks great, but I honestly think the satin is, is, gonna, is gonna really be uh, a, a nice touch because it's got that frosted look. And Jägermeister, of course, is always best served ice cold. I think this fluid going through here, actually, you know, you wanna see it? You wanna see what it looks like right now? There it is. Looks pretty sweet. Looks like ice cold Jägermeister. This is probably the most ghetto way to show you because there's not even anything capped. I'm just capping it with my hand right now. It's probably gonna leak any second. Uh, but there you go. That's kind of what it's gonna look like. I think it looks really nice. Uh, I'm gonna do this in another video. I don't have time to bend all of these tubes right now. Plus I actually need to make more of this uh, more of this fake Jaeger fluid, and I don't have the dyes for it, so I wouldn't be able to get it all done today anyway. But that is what's coming next for the Jaeger build. Satin frosted tubing, and of course we're going to attempt integrating the chilling machine into the loop, which should be interesting. Thanks again to cdkeyoffers.com for sponsoring this video. Right now, the site has keys for Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition for over 50% off its normal price at just $15. Just one of the many everyday deals that you'll find on cdkeyoffers.com. To start browsing a massive library of affordable and reliable software keys, click on the link in the description below. Like I said before, please, if you have any feedback, comments, concerns, ideas, let me know in the comments below. Toss a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and get subscribed for more tech content coming at you really soon. Till next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump this out now.